Time to catch up to speed on some of the other stories developing tonight. Phoenix police are investigating a serious crash on 35th Avenue and Thunderbird. Uh, you can see one of the vehicles wrapped around a pole. We don't know how many people were in that car or the extent of their injuries. And the same goes for the other vehicle involved, which is a red SUV. Officers on the scene tell us the intersection will be closed for quite some time, so you should avoid the area until further notice. A Valley man found guilty of attempted murder of a DPS trooper has been sentenced to 23 years in prison. Luis Aldana was pulled over by a trooper in 2017 and fired at him as the trooper was getting out of his patrol car. The trooper returned fire and hit Aldana in the shoulder. Aldana took off but was arrested a short time later. He was convicted last November on several charges tied to the shooting. A popular vaping company will no longer be able to market or sell its products in Arizona. Attorney General Mark Burnovich obtained an injunction against Eon Smoke after suing the company last month. Burnovich claims that Eon Smoke violated state consumer fraud laws and targeted kids in its marketing. A popular breakfast spot in the Valley will be reopening after someone plowed into the building four months ago. This is video from that night when a man in his 40s crashed his truck into the first watch near I-17 in Dunlap. The driver died at the hospital and they believe that he may have suffered some sort of a medical emergency. Since then, first watch has rebuilt the front and remodeled the inside. The restaurant will reopen just in time for breakfast on Monday. And if you love Nutella, you will love this. The company is opening up a new distribution center in Goodyear. The 640,000 square foot building will open in March. The company plans to hire at least 50 people within the first year. And now you're up to speed.